I um, promised to get back to you after my meeting. It's like 7 p.m. pretty much right now. Had my meetings, worked a lot, did even more. I'm exhausted. But um, I promised to show you my new perfume that arrived in the mail and I took it out but, um, of the box, but I still haven't opened it properly. So I'm gonna show you um, the, the perfume and open all that stuff that I ordered with it. And I'm gonna explain a little bit about how that works and what kind of perfume I actually designed. Okay, so um, I ordered a bunch of things from my perfumery because um, I was gonna originally just order my perfume in a really big bottle, but then I decided to do actually my perfume but in um, a shower gel and order some like mini containers for the perfume like that you have in your bag. And I got some extra perfumes of their design um, because I bought so much. And then I bought these kind of um, scent bags um, that you have in like wardrobes, closets, the car, whatever. And, and I want to have them in the closets in my house because I have like five, no, eight covers and like pillows and stuff for like eight different beds. And those are only used when we have uh, guests and stuff like that. So I want them to smell like super nice. And I just like when I arrive there um, that it's like a nice, mild, warm scent. So I bought vanilla, and I think this is vanilla too. Yeah, it is. The company that um, makes my perfume is called Gallimard or Gallimard if you're American. It's one of the oldest perfumers in the world, um, and it's located um, near Nice, so down by Côte d'Azur, which is the French Riviera, um, and. Uh, yeah, I went there on our Think Week, which I'll uh, post the um, I'll post the video uh, in the description where I talk about that the first time. So this is one of those small um, perfume um, containers that you can refill. So you fill it up with your perfume like this, and. Um, you can carry that really safely in your purse because it's really, really strong and a little bit heavy actually. Um, but that will uh, keep your perfume safe and you can use it throughout the day or whatever you want to do. But I liked it because it looks really nice. I've seen other ones of, like these, but they're also like always plastic and like really ugly. So my actual perfume is this one. Oh, I can already smell it. Oh, it smells amazing. So this is my perfume. And as you see, it has my name on it because I named it Shu because Shu means snow. And yeah, it's not actually a really suitable name for this perfume. I have another name that I want to change it to. So I'm going to talk to them next time I go down there or um, call them to change it to an actual like perfume name that I liked that is like suitable for the scent itself. But this is a really big bottle, um, so I can refill the one I already have. And you can buy even larger ones if you want to, which is awesome. And this time I also, this is the first time I bought their um, shower gel, which is also, as you see, uh, my scent. So this perfume that I made, it is um, unisex scent. Because um, that's kind of my personality. I'm both a bit of a tomboy and then sometimes a really girlish Well, not maybe girlish, but feminine um, So the base of this is actually pretty masculine tones and You build perfumes in three layers. So you have the base tones the heart tones and the top tones um, and the base tones are the ones that you're gonna smell like you can smell it even days after you first put it on um, the heart notes this is what you're gonna smell for the next 24 hours and the top tones are the ones you're gonna smell directly when you apply it. So the top tones are the, the introduction, uh, the heart tones are the conversation and the bass tone is the memory. So mine, I, I can't tell you the whole um, 
the whole ingredient list or the design of it, but it's um, a lot of sandy and woody tones and a lot of Asian uh, flowers. So it's lotus, it's um, Asian peaches, and it's sandalwood and um, similar things. Um, and also bamboo, which I love in this one. And I was really proud of this. And the perfumer that taught me how to do this, he was really excited because most people didn't think that much about their perfume, they just made one. But I was very specific on how I wanted it to smell. So he was really impressed actually. Um, but I really, really love this. It's not flower at all. It's very um, deep and kind of soft flowers. So not flowery, more fresh. Um, and the, the, the woody tones makes it super, super warm. Um, yeah, I love it. It's so much fun to do if you're a bit of a creative person to try to do your own perfume. You can actually order my perfume if you want to. Um, so if you want to try my perfume, you can buy smaller bottles as well. You can just email me and I give you the contacts. And I'm, I'm not getting paid for that. It's just like ordering the bottle directly from the, the producer. But it might be fun to test, try out. Um, it's very, very um, distinctive type of scent. That's what I bought and got for my order from France. And it was so much fun to do this.